Howdy folks, we've got a fun new feature for you in your Zappy Chat account, and that is the ability to summarize AI conversations. Now, this is a tool that we were actually using internally to monitor our own conversations that our AI was having in different businesses. And we realized, oh, we should give an easy way for our clients to use this as well. And so now there's a simple webhook. All you have to do is add one field, put this webhook into your automation, and it can automate a summary that you can use anywhere in your high level system. So the vision here is taking the conversation that the AI just had with the user, uh, with the contact, and creating a condensed summary that you can completely customize and then automate to send out to whoever that might be relevant to. So maybe you want to send it to a VA who reviews these conversations and makes updates to your knowledge base or follows up with people. Or maybe you want to automate a summary sent to a sales rep anytime a call is booked so that they have that summary there. Or say anytime a conversation comes through and it ends in a tag being added or a appointment booked, you want to send a summary to your client so that they know, oh, this is the conversation that the bot had with my customer. They can have that for context or just to show off how great your bot is and how great your system is. So what it does is once it fires a webhook, uh, it takes a look at the history of the conversation and summarizes it according to your prompt in this AI summary field. So you can see here, summary, the contacts interested in indoor plants for medium light conditions, concerned about the level of care required, looking for easy to maintain options. Industry, they're in home office or remote work, and objections, concerns about the level of care required for indoor plants. So you can see a quick glance of that going into a potential sales call, gives you some context and allows you to easily enter into that uh, with some knowledge of what the AI communicated here. So. Here's what it looks like technically. All you need is to add a custom field called AI summary. And so you just literally go add field. I would choose multi-line because it gives you a little more space. Name it AI space summary, exactly that. So capital A, capital I, space, capital S, U-M-M-A-R-Y. Leave the object as contact. And for group, put it wherever you want. Uh, but if you have that AI chatbot folder, that's a great place to keep it. Then once you save that, it's going to create this field. And now you are going to be able to use that unique key, that contact.ai underscore summary. You're gonna be able to use that in things like internal notifications uh, or adding into the appointment description. Uh, you can use it any way that you want to. Uh, for those of you who are high level nerds, you probably have big ideas on where you could put this, how you could automate using this in your system. But once you create that field, all you need to do now is set up the webhook in a workflow. Now, depending on your use case, how you want to use this, uh, it might make sense to have all leads that communicate with the bot go through this at, say, 3 a.m. Uh, that night so that it creates a summary and you have a batch of summaries the next day. Or maybe you want to trigger this off on a booked appointment um, or a tag being added. It's really up to you that the possibilities are always endless with high level, the directions that you can take it, but the action that creates the summary and updates the step just looks like this. It is simply posting a webhook. So just a simple webhook action, not a custom webhook, just a normal webhook. Uh, you use this URL, you put in a prompt that you want the AI to follow for its summary, drop in your open AI key as a header and your location key as a header. So just to take this from scratch, Here's what we'll do. We'll just delete this and I'll show you what it looks like from scratch. So you go webhook and you copy and paste the URL below, which is going to be chat.botwebhook.com slash summary. Yep. Slash summary. And then under custom data, this is where you're going to put the prompt. So you're going to type in the word prompt, all lowercase actually. And for the value here, I'm going to say, Based on the conversation, provide a one sentence summary of the contacts needs. Also provide the industry of the contact and any objections they may have had to purchasing a plant. Uh, so obviously you can put whatever you want into here. This is going to give the AI 
it's instruction for how you want a summary provided. So you might say it like based on the conversation, provide a number between one and 10 rating the quality of the AI performance where 10 is perfect and one is terrible. So you could potentially use this field to give it a number rating and give it a grade uh, or potentially list out the, the, the goals that the lead has. Let your imagination run wild. You can prompt it with whatever you want. Uh, and then down here, you can put in your open AI key and your location key. So both of these are going to be headers, open AI key and location key. Location key is going to be the location API key that you get from your business settings uh, in high level here and open AI key will come from open AI. So grab that open AI key from open AI uh, just to show you where that location API key is in your settings in high level. Uh, in the sub account. So when you go in the sub account, go in the settings and it's going to open to this business info section. Uh, here's your API key right here. You can copy that, paste it in and you'll be good to go. And so that's all that's needed in order to automate a summary of your conversation. And then you can use that in your automations elsewhere and in your internal notifications and just continue to give you more insight into the things that the bot is doing, make it more applicable and practical in your day-to-day -day usage and we'll have more coming out soon.